Woo, if you guys had smell-o-vision, you guys would be turning this video off right now. So we just came home, Chloe was outside, and she came back in smelling like burnt rubber. And we are like, what smells like burnt rubber? So I looked it up, and sure enough, it's a uh, skunk. So if your dog comes back in your house smelling like burnt rubber, that means they got sprayed by a skunk. Did you play with a skunk? You know, those white and black animals? smells really bad. It doesn't smell like uh, skunk roadkill. Like skunk roadkill is pretty nasty too, but. Uh, it smells like someone was burning rubber in their car. Yeah, we thought Chloe got into some chemicals or something, but no, it's a skunk. I always heard that you're supposed to use tomato juice, but they said it doesn't work as well as this right here. So what you need is some 3% hydrogen peroxide. You can find this at any uh, drugstore, but make sure it's 3%. You don't want any stronger than that. It could uh, hurt your dog's skin. Then you're gonna need some of this baking soda. And they say to use a couple teaspoons of dishwashing soap. That's just to make it easier to apply. So we're gonna mix all that up in this bucket right here. It's probably best to do it outside, but not inside your house but uh, it's late now and dark and the skunk's probably still out there. So we're just gonna do it in our shower. I need to take a shower anyway. So we're gonna mix this up and uh, put it on Chloe and hopefully it gets rid of the smell because I wanna be able to sleep tonight. So the recipe calls for one quart and this right here, this container is 32 fluid ounces which is equal to one quart. So we're gonna use this entire bottle and it's brand new. Luckily we had some on hand. Uh, you don't want to get this stuff on your hands or on your walls or anything. You don't even want to leave it on your dog too long because it'll uh, bleach their fur. You also don't want to mix this up in a closed container because it creates a chemical reaction and it could explode. So let's put that in there. It probably wouldn't hurt either to have some kind of eye protection, but you know, we don't have that right now. Maybe like swimming goggles or something. Chloe's so trying to get onto all the stuff. And if your dog touches something, that something's gonna also smell like a skunk. Chloe, have a seat. Sit. No, 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 don't shake. Woo, if you guys had smell-o-vision, you guys would be turning this video off right now. Woohoo! Sit! Woo! Oh my goodness. So they said that the skunk smell is very strong to humans, and I believe it. Nothing like oil from the anal glands of a skunk to make your evening. So I gotta pour a quarter cup of baking soda into this mixture. Sit! Good girl. Good girl. Now usually when your dog gets sprayed with a skunk, it's right in their face because, you know, they like to get that nose where it's not supposed to be, huh? So you should check out your dog's eyes, make sure they're not irritated. Uh, Chloe's eyes look okay. All right, so I'm gonna put the baking soda in my mixture. Put this camera down for right now. I sort of have a quarter cup right here. Uh, oops. This stuff was uh, really chunky. I don't know if it's old, but you should probably use new um, ingredients. Yeah. Chloe, Chloe, stay over here. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay, put that in there. Ooh. Okay, look, it's making like, it's like a fizz. Sort of like the stuff we used to make uh, fizz Angry Birds back in the day. The two teaspoons. One to two. Can't have too much soap, right? Did you say we have to do it <laughs> um, Possibly. It says it's made for like a dog between 30 and 50 pounds. Uh -oh. Chloe's a little bigger than that, as you can see. So. You might have to put more soap. Yeah. I'm gonna mix it with my finger since it has gloves on. I can go get a big spoon. Ah, my finger! Just kidding. 
This is strong stuff. Keep it out of your eyes, keep it out of your dog's eyes uh, and mouth and nose. We just want this on the skin and the fur. You want to do this before you put water on your dog. It said it's mainly around like the head area. Go smell her and see where the smell is. <laughs> oh, her mouth. Let me see. Yeah, it's mainly right there, which is not <laughs> gonna be fun for her. So this is all good and mixed up. I'm gonna bring it into the shower. Oh yeah. Okay, Chloe, come here. Come here, Chloe. Good girl. Good girl, come in. Come on, we gotta wash you off. You stink. You stink. Let me sit. Good girl. Good girl. Alright, so we gotta act fast because we want the oils neutralized. We gotta neutralize the oils in your face. Get a little sponge here. Probably shouldn't be holding the camera while I'm doing this. Sorry for my outfit. I know it's stylish. <laughs> it's late at night. We just got home. Ooh. Make sure you get the front. Sorry, Chloe. We have to. She's looking very sad, I bet. It's working. <laughs> well, it's supposed to work like immediately. Really? during the solution and then we had to rinse that off and then we put her regular soap on to <laughs> rinse any of the residue. Hopefully we got it all but they say you know it could be two times. Yeah you might have to do this a few times. Dude. But it smells a lot better. Way better. I can live with it I think. There's no oh, more skunks, Chloe. I'll be able to sleep tonight. You usually get a treat when I bathe you, huh? You want your treat? You earned it. Shake it here. <laughs> here it goes. Shake it. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good girl. Wait, wait. All right, so of course Chloe was wearing her collar. So we just dumped it in the solution. Hopefully that was okay. Yeah, hopefully that does the trick too. Okay, it's done. Chloe has been de-skunked. How do you smell, Chloe? Let's do the smell test. Okay, uh, well, you smell like a wet dog. We'll see how you do tomorrow. Let's see if the kids notice. For right now, I think we're good. Good to go to bed. Chloe, by the way, sleeps on this giant bean bag. Jill's bean bag. She has a dog cot, but she prefers this giant jelly bean. Oh, hey, light. Uh -huh. Feel good, Chloe? All right, Chloe. Good night. We'll see you in the morning.